In this video, I wanna show you how to set up your own data gateways in order to connect your Power BI reports to on-premises data sources like SQL databases or files in your local machine. We're gonna go through together how to set it up step-by-step step and also show you how to set it up in a real-world scenario. All of that and more, so without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let me give you a picture of a scenario that I'm talking about in which you can use a data gateway for. So here I have a Power BI report that I've published into the Power BI service. It's a headcount analytics report that just gives information about uh, the HR process um, and how an organization is doing. So at the moment it's published into the service and let's say we want to update this to give us the latest data. So we go to the related contents down here and if we try to refresh here, you will see that it will fail. Um, it will show it here. Uh, so why, why is that? So let's have a look at the refresh history here. So I'm gonna go to settings here. Uh, you'll see under refresh history, if you click that, you'll see that it failed. And it's because it's missing some data source credentials. Okay, so let's have a look at that you'll see that you're not able to actually select the data source credentials. It's just not there as an option at all. Um, so now we go back to our report here and let's try to investigate this. So let's download the PBX file um, into our local machine. And just to show you how the setup uh, of this report is. So here we have the report. It seems pretty simplistic. If we have a look at the options here, data source settings, you'll see that the source data that we have here is actually going directly to our file here in our desktop called employee data. So this type of data source where the data doesn't live in an online source, uh, but instead lives in a local uh, machine is something that we call an on-premise data source. So when you publish your Power BI reports into the service, it essentially lives in the cloud um, and it doesn't have any link to the file source uh, in your local machine. So having the report in the service doesn't mean that it has access to your uh, local machine um, in your C drive in order to pull out the data from this Excel file. A gateway creates a connection between your report in the cloud to your local machine where your data source is kept and it's actually pretty easy to set up. So actually I'm doing it fresh in this tenant uh, together with you so you can follow the same steps uh, as I do when you do it yourself. So first we go to uh, the Power BI service here in our tenant here under the downloads button on the top right, you can download the data gateway. So here it will ask you to download standard mode and personal mode. Uh, I'll show you how to download the standard mode for now. Uh, the difference between the standard mode is that it could be used by other services um, that needs a gateway for it to work. So this is what you'll use if you're looking to use uh, gateways in an enterprise capacity with multiple other services taking advantage of this gateway. However, if you're just looking to try out how gateways work and you just want it to work with Power BI, you will uh, just need to download the personal mode, uh, but either should work for our scenario here. So now that it's downloaded, we're gonna go through the installation process together. Uh, so first we're gonna accept the terms and conditions here, choose the file location, just give it some approvals. So after a very long wait of installation, now you enter the email address that you want to use this gateway with. So we will use the same account that uh, we have um, in tenant. 
So at the moment we have solutions abroad UK. So here we have two options. If this is your first time, you create a new gateway on this computer. We'll name this one uh, Gateway Solutions Abroad. And then we'll create a recovery key here. So make sure you remember what your recovery key is so that you can restore the gateway um, when you uh, somehow lose it in the future. So just keep Bear that in mind uh, for future reference. And that's it. So now you have a gateway set up in your machine that you can use uh, to connect the Power BI report that you have in the service to the data source that you have in your local uh, in your local machine. So we're gonna go back to the headcount analytics report here that we have in the service. We're gonna go to um, see related content and then go to the settings view here. So under gateway connection, you'll see that you have now op an option to use this gateway that we've created. So if you expand the actions here in this gateway, you'll see that uh, the path here that we have uh, is something that we need to add in our gateway. Um, and to do that, it's pretty simple. We can click add to gateway here. It will create as a new data source, but if you don't have that option, you have a way to click it here, add data source or here in the ellipsis menu. So I believe from here, we've already done uh, what is needed. So we have the file data source type, which is a file. We want the full path um, and we just wanna name this one. So let's say Excel source here. So now we can go back to our headcount analytics reports um uh, go back to the settings down here and then under the gateway connection the data sources that we've uh it was not mapped here we can map it to our excel source and then hit apply so now that we've set up that on-premises gateway uh, all we need to do now is hit the refresh button which should hopefully now work for us and there you go. So now we have that data source in our local file, but we have our Power BI report published in the service in the cloud and being able to connect to that file in our local machine using the gateway. So the thing about this solution is that if you want to set up, let's say an automated refresh, uh, let's say a scheduled refresh on a daily basis, similar to how you would do in an online uh, data source, the machine where you installed the gateway uh, needs to be on and connected to the web for this solution to work. So in a real world scenario, what you would do is you would install this gateway into a virtual machine. This virtual machine will be always on and is connected to the network that will let us set, let's say schedule refreshes into our Power BI service, uh, the same way that we do with other online sources. And that's really it for this video. I hope I've helped you understand how easy it is to set up something like an on-premises data gateway for your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.